Star Wars A New Hope was my favorite movie as a youngster and had a huge influence on what kind of work I would aspire to do as an adult. The comical aspects were mostly centered around two droids, R2-D2 and C-3PO, and their interaction with each other. Not only did they add humor, but perhaps a glimpse into the future where robots are a commonplace. Fast forward 45-ish or so years ahead, and while robots for the home are not yet common, more and more companies are looking to change that. One of those companies is Amazon. Astro is a home robot that integrates the technology from the Echo and Show into a robot that can navigate your home, play music and videos, allow telepresence from your phone, and much more. In this video, we'll unbox it, set it up, train it to recognize us, try out several of its features, all to help you determine if this little robot is something of interest to you. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. I briefly want to mention, if you visit wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash astro, it'll take you to the Amazon Astro Guide. This written guide covers far more aspects of Astro than can be discussed in a single video. There is extensive documentation on why or why not to consider Astro, the Astro application, various resources, accessories, how-to information, command reference, and much, much more. This guide will continue to receive updates long after this video is released and will always have the latest information. To get Astro out of the box, there are two clips on both sides of the box. Remove the label and then pull out each clip. Then you can slide the top of the box straight up. It comes very well packed to avoid damage during shipment. The box at the top contains the charger and welcome kit, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. This card on the base identifies how to turn the mic and cameras on or off as well as how to adjust the volume. Before we get it all hooked up, let's take a brief tour of what Astro looks like up close. The display is a 10.1 inch electronically controlled HD touchscreen at 1280 by 800 pixels. There are two large electronically controlled wheels at the front, a single USB-C port in the cargo bay, six proximity sensors on the back. On the top, there is a periscope, which can extend 42 inches from the floor, and the camera and mic on or off button, as well as the volume down and up controls. There are multiple sensors at the front, and on the bottom, the rear wheel is not electronically controlled, and there are two metal contacts for charging. Speaking of which, let's open the box that contains the charger. Here we have a welcome kit, we'll set it aside for now the charger, a cup holder for the cargo bay, and a power cable for the charger. There is an insert that includes some things to try, and even more on the Astro Guide mentioned previously. The charging station has two spring-loaded contacts to recharge Astro's internal battery. There's not much to show on the bottom, but on the back is where you'll connect the power cord and you can easily tidy up the extra unused length of the power cord by wrapping it around the back. Now let's check out the welcome kit. It includes a nice color booklet explaining some helpful setup information. There is also a diagram to assist on where to place the charger, as well as several stickers such as a ring protect sticker and stickers that you can place on glass and mirrors to help Astro understand where they are. To fully set up Astro and connect to it when you're away from home, you'll want to download and install the Amazon Astro application for Android or iOS. After opening, you'll log in with your Amazon credentials. And now let's move on to the more exciting aspect of setting Astro up. When deciding on a location for the charger, you'll want at least one foot free on either side and at least five feet of space at the front. To get started, we'll set Astro on the charger. The display will turn on, and then briefly display an animated startup screen. 
It will then scan for the available networks and will be prompted to select our Wi-Fi network and then enter our Wi-Fi password. Once connected, you'll log in with your Amazon account email or phone number and password, then tap continue, tap continue again, review the notice and press the agree and continue button. Now we'll select our time zone and at this point we're ready to train Astro to recognize us. We'll just click continue here. A brief animation will describe how it works. Tap the welcome home button and step back a few feet. Astro will undock and take its first few steps at this point. You'll be asked to say a few phrases and Astro will respond such as flipping a coin. Tapping continue will display a brief video on getting to know you using visual and voice IDs. Select your profile from the list and agree and continue. Then repeat various on-screen phrases to train Astro to your voice. Once the voice training is complete, we'll now train Astro to visually be able to identify us. Tap continue, then step back a bit and tilt your head in the various positions when prompted. And now Astro will be able to identify you in a room. If there are more family members to add, you can do that now or come back to it later from the settings menu. Earlier we downloaded, installed, and logged into the Astro application. Now we'll assign this Astro to our phone. To pair with Astro, you can scan the QR code from your phone. And Astro will be registered with your Amazon account. It's pretty quick and easy. After that, it will begin docking practice. Just stand back a few feet and then it'll be ready to explore your home. Exploration is automatic. But before doing so, you'll want to pick up any loose items on the floor, such as clothes, towels, etc. And just let it do its thing. It'll take about 20 or so minutes to complete. Normally, exploration should go pretty smooth. However, in my case, Astro wasn't able to navigate over this threshold which has some quarter round in front of the door frame, and wound up closing this door and having to restart the exploration task. After that, Astro will follow you around the house and you'll tell it what each room is, such as the living room, master bedroom, etc. In my case, there were two rooms that were a bit problematic. It took several attempts and manual entry before Astro correctly learned the name of the room. This is Kayla's room. The space has been created as room before. You want to name this place room, right? No. <laughs> okay, enter the correct name on the screen. After several attempts, Astro did eventually learn the room names and we continued through the remaining rooms in the house. At this point, I've now had Astro in operation for about a week. My wife and kids have been having fun trying it out, and we have no intentions of returning it. We do have three dogs and five cats, and they don't seem to care too much for Astro, uh, but then again, they aren't frightened by him either. There are a lot of things that it can do, far beyond what I'm about to show you. For a more complete list of things to try, please see the written guide linked below. After we take a look at some of these interactions, we'll discuss a few more things you may find helpful, and then we'll wrap up this video. One of the first commands I tried was this one. Follow me. Astro is able to easily navigate obstacles in its path and does a decent job of following you around when you ask it to. It can also deliver an item to a specific person or another room. Take this to the living room. At this point, if I had identified a person's name, it would take it to that specific person. Since I didn't specify an individual and I was the only one in the room, well, it, it delivered it to me. Thank you. Go to the charger. 
Astro is aware of its surroundings and can navigate to its charger when you tell it to or when the battery gets low on charge. It can also do some silly and fun things. Here's a few. Act like a fraud. Act like a dog. Do the robot. Dance. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Beep. Beep who? Beep boop beep beepity boop boop. Astro, remind me to take out the trash. When should I remind you? Friday. What time Friday should I remind you? 10 a.m. Okay, I'll remind you Friday at 10 a.m. Within the Astro application, you can set up viewpoints for specific areas you want to check out. This is one area that one of our cats spend most of her day, but of course now that I'm filming, uh, she's nowhere to be found. However, the periscope height can be set for each viewpoint, and you can return to it at any time verbally or using the app. In this example, my wife connected during her lunch break at work to check on the dogs. Look, there's Mama. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe, come here. Look, Mama. There's <laughs> Mama. Joe, Joe, Joe. Here, <laughs> she doesn't. Can you see pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's clear. Yeah, it's clear yeah. here. All right. Have a good day. Love you. You too. Bye. Bye. Another important aspect of Astro is home monitoring. Since I work out of the home, it's not something I tested extensively, but I can see it being very useful in the future while on vacation. Entering home monitoring mode, you have 60 seconds to exit. While in this mode, Astro will periodically visit each room, identify anything unusual, and this is what happens when you return home and it recognizes you. Welcome back. To turn off home monitoring, say, Astro, I'm home. Astro, I'm home. Welcome home. Please disarm guard manually using your Alexa app. I'm in no way implying that this technology is perfect. Here's one such example recorded on the first night around 1 a.m. Astro thought this doll over here in the corner was a possible unrecognized person. I didn't even know the doll was in the corner, but it was pretty cool that it detected it. If you're one that is frequently concerned if you turn the oven off or not, you can easily use the viewpoint to perform a quick check to make sure it is turned off. Call Kelly Wagner. That's right, you can even use Astro to place a phone call. I'll bug my wife briefly and see how it works. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to call you from Astro. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Mm hmm Bye. So bye. Take a selfie. Here's another fun thing that Astro can do. It'll put you in frame and take your picture. Okay. Get ready. And if you just want to walk around the house and watch your favorite YouTube channel, listen to music, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Netflix, you can do all that too. There are a number of reasons why you may want to consider Astro, and honestly, just as many or more on why not to. All the reasons I could think of for both are on the guide and may change over time. At the present time, Astro is only available by requesting an invitation. 
I waited nearly a year before my reservation was up for purchase. After reservations are fulfilled, the price will go from $1,000 to $1,500. So yes, it's not cheap, and I did pay the full $1,000 for it. There are other considerations to keep in mind, such as security and privacy. If you already have concerns about Echo or Show products, then this is likely not something you're going to be interested in. You can block Astro from entering certain rooms in your house that he has no business in, and I've done that for a few rooms myself. I'm hopeful that Amazon will continue its investment in refining and enhancing Astro. It is one of the first home robots that can independently navigate your home. While sure, I would have preferred a humanoid robot that can wash dishes, fold laundry, and all that other stuff, for that, we'll have to wait several more years, and it's not likely to be at a price range I can afford. To have Astro roaming about our home, I'm very happy with what it can do. There is room for improvement, and I've added those in the conclusion section of the guide if you want to read more. For what it is, and what it can do, it does rather well. I've heard it mentioned that this is just an echo show on wheels. It's really much more than that and I hope this video has given you a good glimpse into its capabilities. What do you think of Astro? Do you own one? Are you interested? Or are you going to pass, and why? I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you click the like button to help the YouTube robot show this video more often to other people. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and appreciate what you saw here, I hope you'll consider doing so. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.